Service providers continue to face challenges in an increasingly competitive environment. They face threats from cloud and over-the-top providers, and they're looking for ways to protect existing revenue streams while developing new sources of revenue. At the same time, the performance and bandwidth requirements continue to grow, and this drives up the cost of running the network. And that's where we're seeing all the activity around dynamic carrier ethernet, virtualization, and other software-oriented capabilities. So it's incumbent upon us as an industry to help the service provider community to solve some of these challenges. And that's where all the developments of the next year will be focused, around automation and virtualization. This is an exciting time at Overture. We're focused on helping customers drive cost out of and speed into their complete service lifecycle. And that's from the creation to activation to assurance of their services. And specifically, our area of expertise is at the Metro Service Edge. And so we've completely revamped our carrier Ethernet portfolio in the last 12 months. We've introduced the first and only Carrier Ethernet 2.0 compliant solution for delivering performance assured Ethernet services over all four access types, fiber, copper, TDM, and wholesale e-access. And here, Overture is delivering both the service edge piece as well as the aggregation switching components in a completely integrated, easy to deploy solution. And then building upon that Carrier Ethernet Foundation, in parallel, we introduced our Ensemble Open Service Architecture, which is an open management and orchestration system for delivering service automation and virtual network functions at the Metro Edge. And whether you choose to deploy them independently or together, the Carrier Ethernet and Ensemble OSA help drive cost out of and speed into this complete service lifecycle. So as I've said, the focus will be on increasing levels of virtualization and automation, all in order to drive speed into and cost out of the process of service creation, activation, and assurance. And this will require new level integration really between and among the traditionally separate connect, compute, and storage functions. So for business services, the area where the MEF has historically been focused, we can expect to see innovation in two primary areas. The first is increasing innovation around accelerating the deployment of carrier Ethernet-based services. So this is within a single operator, but more importantly, across multiple operator networks in order to deliver a completely ubiquitous service offering. And secondly, I think we can expect to see the introduction of real-world deployments of NFV for managed enterprise CPE application in particular. So I'm excited about Gen 14. You know, it's really ideally positioned both from a timing perspective and its focus on the technologies and the industry to showcase innovations around the intersection of the cloud, of virtualization, software-defined services, and how they build upon the foundation of carrier ethernet that the MEF has created and continues to refine. And finally, I think there'll be a lot of interesting activity showcasing innovation around NFV and some of the original use cases that are starting to roll out, specifically virtual enterprise CPE, uh, virtual test head, and some other applications. Pretty exciting stuff.